Although Kobe has been an important port city since the 8th century, it remained little more than a group of fishing villages. Until 1868, when the shogunate agreed to open up Japan to foreign traders after two centuries of isolation. Today, Kobe is a major industrial city with an active port that serves as many as 10,000 ships a year. Over a century of exposure to international cultures has left its mark on Kobe, a sophisticated and cosmopolitan city with a population of one and a half million citizens from almost a hundred different countries. On January 24, 1995, tragedy struck when Kobe was hit with a devastating earthquake that killed over 5,000 people and destroyed most of the city. Here at the Kobe Phoenix Plaza is an earthquake museum, documenting the event through photos, films, and displays. Nowadays, you'd be hard-pressed to see any signs of the disaster, as the people of Kobe have done an incredible job of rebuilding the city. Kobe has many great arcades, which offer some of Japan's best shopping opportunities. The city is also well known for its excellent baked goods. Throughout Japan, Kobe is well known for the exotic charms of its Chinatown, known as Nankanmashi. Here you can find inexpensive dining, as well as an incredible range of goods from mainland China. Mid-February marks the end of the old year and the beginning of the new in the Chinese lunar calendar. Nankin Mashi, in keeping with tradition, has been throwing its own New Year's party called Shinsatsui. The celebration includes a performance of the colorful dragon dance. Located just outside of Kobe is the Glico Chocolate Factory and Museum. Here visitors get a chance to see how some of Japan's favorite confectionery treats are made. After the tour, you are taken through the Time Portal, where, with the help of holograms and robotics, you are shown the story of how candy has evolved from ancient times and into the future. In the lobby are displays that explain the history of Glico. The company began in 1922, selling caramels packaged in a distinctive red box. One of Glico's first vending machines dates back to 1931, where, for about a penny, you got a box of caramels and the chance to view a portion of a movie. The museum also displays approximately 800 of the over 20,000 various prizes that have been included with Glico caramels from 1922 through to today. The display cases also show some of the larger prizes given away in the 1960s, like Aaron running Bulldoggy and the Talking Mina. At the end of the tour is the Glico gift shop, and believe me, after this tour, it's very hard to resist these chocolatey treats. After a day of sightseeing, head up to the top of Mount Rocco for a beautiful sunset and some incredible views of the city nightlife.